Good afternoon folks, welcome to a brand new video. My name's Lee Townsend and usually I do acoustic covers and loop covers and loop tutorials and guitar things. Uh, but today as you can probably hear, I've got a bit of a sore throat and a cold and all that. I've got man flu, let's not beat around the bush. So I'm certainly in no fit state to sing today. But uh, a few of you have asked for a setup video, so I'm going to go over all the equipment I use to make my videos and how I set it up, how it's all connected, and also how my live setup looks as well. I'll go over that with you. So um, we'll get straight in with my cameras. So the main shot is done with a Canon 7D Mark I, which isn't the best camera. It was pretty good when it came out, but it's quite old now. It's just got a kit lens on there. Um, the picture's alright if I remember to get my camera settings right, which I don't always do. Um, and then, yeah, my secondary shot is done with my Canon G7X Mark II, which is a little point and shoot, miraculous little thing. Uh, it's got a much better autofocus than the 7D, so uh, that's why my secondary shot often looks sharper than the primary shot, which is a bit of an odd concept, but... Um, it works to so the cameras I've got um, and my focus really is on the audio so um, they do the job for now if I upgrade them one day then I'll upgrade them but for now that's what I'm using um, and then the microphone that I'm using I'm actually using to record the audio for this video it's a cheap large diaphragm condenser microphone from Thoman which is the company in Germany where I buy all my audio gear and it's an SC400 uh, microphone for anyone that's interested in that um, as I say it's a pretty cheap one it's not the best money can buy or anything but it does the job for my videos I think it sounds all right um, so that then plugs into my audio interface which we'll go over in a minute um, but my guitar as most of you probably already know is a Taylor 618e from 2014 um, and I've modified that a little bit. It's got the pickup built in under the bridge that the guitar comes with, but I've also added an LR Bags M1 Active pickup into the sound hole. So it's actually got two jack sockets in the guitar, which is a little bit unusual. It's not unheard of, though. Quite a few people do do that. Um, but that allows me to EQ the sound when I make that bass drum sound by hitting the bridge. I can EQ that differently to the strings. So um, it just adds a bit more flexibility when it comes to doing the loop stuff. Um, and then, so that plugs into my pedal board, which is, um, yeah, sort of custom made, not custom made, because it's a BCB60 from Boss, which is a pre-built plastic pedal board that you can add your Boss pedals to. Um, but the way it's rooted is a bit unusual because of the two inputs that I've got, well, outputs, I guess, out of the guitar. Um, so what I do is I use the stereo pedals, which is the RC30 loop station and the RV5 reverb pedal. They're the only two pedals that everything goes through. The rest of them, only the sound hole pickup goes through. So the tuner is a TU2. Uh, that goes into the octave, the super octave, which is an OC3. Um, so from the LR bags through those two into the left input of the RC30, out of the left output of that into the GE7 equaliser pedal, um, out of the output of that into input A of the RV5 reverb pedal, out of output A and then into one of the channels of either the audio interface or the mixing desk, depending on whether I'm making a video or playing live. And then the sound hole, not the sound hole pickup, the other pickup under the bridge that's already built in, that goes into the input in the top right hand corner of the board which then skips straight to input the right input of the uh, loop station out of the right output of the loop station skips over the equalizer pedal and straight into input b of the reverb and then out of output b of the reverb and then into the audio interface or the desk so hope that makes sense it's a little bit of a quick explanation um also going into the loop pedal, I've got my microphone, which is this one. It's a Shure SM58, which is pretty much an industry standard mic. Um, I've got the one with the switch on it because I find that handy. Um, if I'm only going to be looping the guitar, I can switch the mic off and I know that nothing's going to bleed through it. Um, if you've got a mic that's not got a switch, then obviously as soon as you're looping, that mic's picking up everything and it's looping over. So um, I recommend using a mic with a switch for the loop pedal if you're going to do the same sort of setup as I've got. Um, I've also got a Boss FS5U foot switch that goes into the loop pedal, which 
allows for quickly switching between the two channels. Um, sometimes in a few of the songs that I do, for example, Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran, there's a part where I need to switch between the channels faster than pressing and holding for two seconds. So that pedal is vital for those songs. Um, and it's not that expensive, so I do recommend that pedal. It's great for just quickly switching between those channels. So um, that's the setup that I use for everything for the for the guitar. Um, when I'm playing live, the mic is switched out for a Sennheiser E945, um, which is a dynamic mic. Obviously, I'm not going to take a large diaphragm condenser mic to play live. Um, the sound would probably be horrible. It would pick everything up. Um, so obviously that's just for studio use. Um, but yeah, allowing for the switch of microphones, that's what I use for when I'm playing live and when I'm recording my videos. Um, the difference comes after that. So when I'm making videos, all of that goes through into my Line 6 Toneport UX8 audio interface. And that's um, an interface that I bought years ago for recording my band through, actually. That's why I bought an 8-channel one. I only actually use three of the tracks um, to record simultaneously. Um, I don't think I've ever recorded a band through it, actually. Maybe once I think I recorded my band Midnight Mechanics through it. Um, but other than that, I'm using three tracks so i technically don't need anything that big uh, but again it's just what i've got i'm not going to sell that to get something worse i don't see the point um so uh once the sound is in there i add a little bit of uh, eq and compression um to everything and i add some reverb to the vocals and i use cakewalk sonar x3 to do that um, which is just the digital audio workstation that I use. That's the audio software that I use to record on my PC. My PC is custom made by myself, so it's got enough power to obviously do all that and also to edit the video afterwards. Um, once I've mixed that down into a single audio file, usually a WAV file, uh, I then take the video from the 7D, the G7X and the audio from Sonar X3 and I put all of that stuff into Adobe Premiere Pro which is the uh, video editing software that I use to make the videos so that allows me to sync everything up so that the audios are matched up the videos matched with the audio I drop the audio out of the cameras the onboards because the audio is terrible on those um, and then I use just the audio that I've recorded properly through the computer um, I can cut between the camera angles and I can add um, all my like Twitter things that fly in from the side and the Instagram stuff and the um, sort of credits at the end or whatever. Um, so I can mix all that together. Um, another thing that I've not mentioned is the light that I've got. I've got um, a really, really cheap softbox light from Amazon. I think it was about 30 euros. Um, that just makes the lighting better and also more consistent because if I'm recording and the sun's going down, for example, the um, be very subtle, but... The light will be different at the end of the video to it how it is at the beginning. Also, if like the sun goes behind the clouds midway through a video, then the light will drop and the cameras can be really affected by that and there'll be loads of noise in the picture and stuff. Um, so that's pretty much everything for videos. If you've got any questions about um, any post-production that I do, anything to do with audio or video uh, that I do with the computer, ask me in the comments below because... Um, I can't go through everything that I do because it depends on the video. Every every video is different, really. Um, and also something that I will add, um, sometimes, because I've only got two cameras, um, sometimes there'll be some loop stuff that I've uh, where, where the camera cuts to the loop pedal as well. Usually I'll record those after the fact. Um, obviously, I am recording the looping live and everything, but if I've not got a camera to do it, I'll just sort of mime the, the loop pushes afterwards and add them in. Um, just to make it easier to do it just with two cameras. Um, so when I play live, as I said before, I use my Sennheiser E945 microphone um, instead of this large diaphragm one from Thoman. The pedal board's exactly the same, same setup with that. Um, and that all then goes into my Mackie Mix 12FX um, mixing desk, which is a really small mixing desk, very basic. Um, it's got some reverb on there so that I've got reverb for the vocals. Obviously, the reverb for the guitar is sorted in the pedal board, so I only need a bit of reverb for the vocals. The rest of it's pretty much set flat. Um, all the EQ of the guitar is done in the board. Um, I EQ the vocals, usually take a little bit of mid out, 
um, and boost the bass and the treble a little bit, but it depends on the venue as well. It can sound a little bit different. And um, from from that, I'm going into my Mackie SRM350 cabs. I've got two of those. They're active cabs, so they're each powered. Um, and also, I didn't add before when I'm making my videos, I usually bring one of those into the house um, because I've got an output from the Toneport UX8, which goes um, into that, so I can use that as a monitor. You'll notice in my old videos, whenever I was using a loop pedal, I had to wear headphones so that I could play in time to what I'd looped. Um, but now in my later videos, I've been using a monitor so that I can hear myself in the room because um, I only need it to be really low. Um, I don't need a lot of volume. As long as I can hear that beat, then I can play in time to, to that and then I can mix everything afterwards. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all. Um, with regards to live setup, it's very similar to what I use in here. Um, it's just a case of putting it, instead of putting it through my interface, I'm putting it through a mixing desk and then into the cabs. Um, most of the gigs that I do are pretty small, so that's powerful enough for small bars and stuff. Any venues that are a little bit bigger, usually they, they have their own PA anyway, so I'm just, I just give them the two feeds from the pedal board, the one feed from the mic, and then they can mix it all in in-house. Um, so that's pretty much it. There's not much else to say. Um, if, as I said before, if you've got any other questions about post-production or how anything's EQ'd, anything at all, you can ask me in the comments section below this video. You can also get me on Twitter, as I always say. Um, my username is Tweed Nelson across most social networks. So you can get me on those if you've got any questions. Um, leave a thumbs up if you've liked this video. Um, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Um, I'll be back next week as usual with another uh, loop cover or an acoustic cover or whatever. Uh, might do an Ed Sheeran one next week. People ask a lot for Ed Sheeran videos. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So I'll uh, probably do an Ed Sheeran one. And then my next video, I think it'll be Christmas Day. So Christmas song time, Christmas song. Um, so look out for that. Um, thanks very much for watching. Your support is really, really greatly appreciated. Um, I really love making these videos. Um, so yeah, the fact that I get to do them again. Um, I had a long break for most of you that most of you will know that have been following me for a bit. I had quite a long break. So um, anyway, I'm rambling as I always do. I'm going to go. Uh, and get rid of this sore throat and this cold so that I can get back to gigging and making videos next week. Until next time, guys, take care. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>